During the Cold War, the Russian Navy's medical service had to address a new condition which was termed premature aging effect. This had also been noted in other military branches such as supersonic jet pilots in the Air Force or silo staff in the Missile Defense Force. All of these cases shared the same symptoms, severe impairment of the following systems which are critical to life. The immune system, the endocrine system, nervous system, cardiovascular system, reproductive system, and vision. The Army Command Headquarters ordered the medical force to find a solution that would lead to the complete recovery of the affected personnel. In other words, they had to find a way to reverse premature aging. Maximum lifespan based on the dates of birth and death of longest living persons that were verified to modern norms is currently defined at 110 to 120 years. However, average lifespan remained 70 to 75 years throughout different countries. And this is believed to be the effect of premature aging syndrome. Humans have a capacity for another 30 to 45 years. We do a lot of research in this area. We study how mechanisms of aging are developing and look for ways we can hold them back with the help of peptide bioregulators. What are peptides? By and large, just two types of molecules maintain our life. Proteins or peptides that carry the information and the DNA that carries its specific information too. The DNA is, however, just a matrix. It is a molecule that by itself performs no function. Only when a relevant peptide connects with the corresponding segment of the DNA will it trigger off the synthesis of specific proteins. And that's the key to life. Peptides and proteins. The human body consists of 100 trillion cells and each of these cells is comprised of hundreds of millions of protein molecules. Proteins can be said to be the construction material of our bodies. They also function as true nanomachines. Each of the hundreds of thousands of various proteins is distinguished by a unique structure, and every single protein has a specific task it performs within the body. We can distinguish between the proteins of bones and muscular tissue and those of skin and our brains. Specific proteins called enzymes and hormones control functioning of all body systems. Large protein molecules consist of peptides. What can peptides do for you? Our experiments on test animals have shown that a peptide-enhanced diet administered to mature animals increased their actual lifespan by 30 to 38 percent. Moreover, this research on life extension was carried out on humans. This was done in Kiev and St. Petersburg for 12 years. The use of peptides reduced mortality by a factor of two. Today, we can say unequivocally that it is Russia that is doing the most to reduce mortality rates with its bioregulation technologies. This is unique. Similar preparations exist nowhere else in the world. And so it appears that what the pioneer of nanomedicine, Eric Drexler, called the preparation of the future has already been developed, tested and used in medical practice in Russia. However, medical preparations of tissue-specific peptides affect directly targeted tissue cells. At the moment, over 25 tissue-specific preparations have been developed and they work with atomic precision. Completely free of adverse effects, they enhance the genetic abilities of the patient's organism. Rather than just fill in for the functions of damaged tissues, they help the body activate its own reserves supplied by nature. Every organ has a 30% reserve of polypotent or stem cells. That's nature's design, it's just how it is. And when this reserve gets to be employed sparingly, but consistently over a lifetime and to its full scope, the result is a long lifespan of 100 to 110 years. And thus every person has 30 years of this reserve. More than 15 million people have benefited from our developments over the last 20 years. In many cases, the drugs proved to be very effective. 
But what's more, there was not a single case of negative side effects or any allergies. These are safe medications because they employ the mechanisms of nature itself. How do peptides combat premature aging syndrome? By the mid-80s, Marasov and Kavinson had been able to learn more about the role peptides played in molecular synthesis. We incited premature aging in test animals and proceeded to administer the obtained agents to one group of subjects and monitor them against the control group. Upon completion of the treatment course, we compared cell samples obtained from the two groups. This research method allowed us to run a thorough and comprehensive study of any agent. We produced a preparation out of the substances extracted from the thymus. Its patent name is thymoline. It's been on our country's pharmaceutical market for over 20 years now. It's available over the counter at any drugstore. It was the world's first developed immune system preparation. Later on, further research of this drug revealed that its active agents are peptides. Drug therapy, unlike surgery, deals with the finer structures in cells. But drug molecules are simple molecular devices. Many affect specific molecules and cells, but drug molecules work without direction. Once dumped into the body, they tumble and bump around haphazardly until they bump a target molecule, fit, and stick, affecting its function. Though drug molecules affect the tissues on a molecular level, they are too primitive to feel, plan, and function independently. The important thing here was that the agent obtained from the immune system turned out to help restore the immune system function. The agent recovered from the brain improved the brain function, and the heart agents facilitated the heart recovery. In other words, we discovered tissue-specific regulation processes that yielded a reliable and positive effect. Supporting evidence for peptide preparations. The global research community proceeded to run their checks. We prepared some purified pineal gland peptides as well as some synthetic peptides and samples of frozen tissue of the mice that we had run longevity experiments on and sent them off to the USA. There, the US National Institute of Aging processed over 15,000 genes and confirmed the gene-specific effect of peptides. It was unique research. Peptides, a global solution to aging. This is an intense research area today. France has opened a special institute to study peptides. America is investing huge amounts of money in this research too. The 2007 European Congress on Gerontology was held in St. Petersburg as a tribute to the outstanding achievements of Russian scientists from the Institute of Gerontology and Bioregulation in finding a solution to healthy longevity. So what is the key challenge here? It is the promotion of our discoveries, introducing them into mass production and mass consumption. Aging of the population, including rates of premature aging, are an unsolved problem in all developed countries. This appears to be reason enough to think that new Russian peptide preparations are sure to make global market. Whenever God sends a disease into our world, he always supplies a remedy. We only need to discover it.